every one of the current players is attempting to achieve what is known as artificial general intelligence. And, you know, we don't really agree the definition. Is general intelligence that an AI is better than every human at every task? Uh, that would be pushing it because no human is better than every other human at every task, right? So if you take the most intelligent human out there, they'll probably be better than, you know, seven different types of humans at the seven different types of tasks that those people are. Uh, but if you take an example and say better than most humans at most tasks, we're already almost very close to that point, okay? And we have an assurance that every uh, task we've assigned to AI so far, they've become the world champions at. So, you know, it's just a question of time, really, before we assign all of the other tasks to them so that they become the world champion at it, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, some people will say, oh, but which company will get there first? I don't think it's one company at all. I think using agents and the idea that we ourselves are going to ask AIs to connect to each other so that they have a more comprehensive capability set uh, is going to create that one brain that we call AI that will have all of those tasks within it, right? And so it, it, with that definition, better than most humans at most tasks, um, I'd probably say we're a year or two away. Uh, and, you know, and, and, and the thing about AI is that we have some certainty and some uncertainties. The, the certainty is that as we pour resources on it, it's going to continue to follow the, the technology acceleration curve. The uncertainty is that in, if we find breakthroughs on the path, that acceleration curve will quadruple or you know, 10x in speed. Okay? And for, for most of those who have actually interacted with the machines, we, uh, we don't know exactly what happens. Hmm? We, we, we give them the algorithm for learning and they keep trying with millions and billions of patterns. And then overnight, they figure something out. Hmm? And you know, that basically means that the existing machines could take uh, you know, years and years to develop or could take a microsecond and figure something out. Uh, in, in my mind, and I, by the way, I know people get scared when I tell them that there is change that's happening. I'm not scared at all. As I said, there's absolutely nothing inherently wrong with intelligence. Hmm? And that, you know, my hope is that we finally end up handing over to something a little more intelligent than the ones in charge now. Okay? <laughs> but, but basically, in, in my mind, that certainty that the machines are going to be more intelligent than us is a done deal. Mm. You know, lay it to bed. Don't, don't tell yourself, oh, maybe we will change that. It's not going to happen. Okay? They are already ch smarter than us in whatever we assigned to them. And we will figure out ways to make them smarter than us in every other way. You know why? Not because we need that, by the way. Humanity is in a reasonable place already. But because of a prisoner's dilemma that's been created by capitalism and by our greed and fear uh, around power and wealth. Okay, yeah. so, so nobody is going to stop developing AI because if China gets there first, America is in a bad place. And if, you know, open AI gets there first, Alphabet is in a bad place. And so everyone is running like mad in this rat race uh, for absolutely no reason other than I cannot afford to be second. Okay, and so this will continue. And as it continues with trillions of dollars being poured on it and with intelligence itself enabling more intelligence to be developed, we are going to get to artificial gener general intelligence. It's a question of time. And we are going to get to artificial super intelligence. It's a question of time, millions of times smarter than humans. Okay, <laughs> and the funny thing is it actually doesn't matter what time. If I told you the episode of humanity where we were the smartest being on the planet, and we had that intelligent supremacy is about to end. I think for most intelligent people, the question is, is it going to take a year or five? Does it make any difference if it takes a year or five? We need to prepare for it right now.